Hey guys, Anel Chunz, the African Mix Master, back in another tutorial. And today we are talking about doubling tracks. So many times you find yourself having uh, one take of a recording and you may want to double it so that you can create that wide stereo field. And uh, I've seen very many people do it and they've been doing it. They do it totally wrongly. And I'm going to show you how wrong it's done and I'll show you the right way or a better way that it can be done. And notice I'm not saying the only way it's done, but I'm going to show you one way that I've really found uh, very convincing and I've gotten a lot of success using this particular technique that I'm going to show you. And this can be done on guitars, on vocals, or on any other track that you may want. You may want to create that stereo feel, that panning feel. So let's jump in right now and start. Let's listen to this a part of the song that you're going to work with for us to get a feel of what we are really, really dealing with. Right there, it's a song, a beautiful, beautiful song, and a very good vocalist on this song. So let's dive in. And uh, I felt in this part, there is this guitar here. In this part, uh, you can see it's central. I wish they played two of them. Now, notice something here. Before you go to this technique, if you want to get that stereo feed, if you want to make that track wider, it's better they play that same uh, piece two times. You take two takes. For example, we have this part of the song here. We have a uh, distortion guitar here. And... Uh It was played twice uh, with this. So it's the same piece of music played two times. That take was recorded two times. And it's very important before you jump into, uh, we call it the host technique, yeah? Before you jump into the host technique, that technique of trying to make a copy of the tech that you recorded and then try to make them different and to get that wide feel that you're getting, like we hear in this particular uh, audio clip here, uh, it's better you record the tech two times. Also on vocals, say you're recording harmonies or backups, record backups two times so that you can pan one to the left and the other to the right and you'll save yourself a lot of time and all the hassle. But in case you don't have the luxury of having two techs, say an artist has sent you a file and it has only one tech, yeah, this is what you do. Uh, so for example, we have our track here like we've seen. We have our guitar here. So when you listen to it here, I feel, yeah, it's there, it can pass, but I want something wider just on this particular guitar here. So let's listen as it is now. <laughs> Sounds amazing, but I would like to get a wider feel of that part. So this is what I do. In this tutorial, I'm going to do the guitar. In the next tutorial, I will do the vocal. I'll show you how to do it on vocals. So here, what I'm going to do, I'm going to make a copy of this, of the guitar. Just made a copy of this guitar, exactly the same. So very many people do this. So when they make a copy, then they pan left and pan right. What you get by panning the exact same 
clip or exact same audio, what you get is mono. You get a mono track. You don't get the effect that you're really looking for. So if you had to listen to this, you feel actually there is no difference. Uh, it's the same as having this. In other words, you haven't achieved anything. So by making a copy, I panned one left and one right. So on the second copy, we have to make some adjustments because if it was played two times, it is impossible for someone to play the exact same thing as they played it uh, in the previous uh, tech. It's impossible. There will always be some changes in timing, some changes in tonality. Something must change somehow. And those small changes are the ones that give us a wide stereo field. Now, since we don't have the luxury of having two takes of the same guitar, what we're going to do, we've just made a copy and we're going to make one. The copy is going to be, uh, we're going to try to give it a different feel to change something about it. So we get that stereo field. So let's dive in right now. Now on this copy, I'm going to add first, um, I'm going to add a sample delay. I'm going to delay it a bit. I want to play with the timing a bit. And I go to samples, uh, milliseconds here, and I'm just going to push this delay a little bit as we play. Now you hear we already have a difference between the left and the right, just because we've delayed uh, the right side uh, by 13 milliseconds, just a little bit, and we already have that feel. But you notice and realize that the left is louder than the right because the left is the original. So what we do, we try to give it some more a different tonality. Now we've played with the timing, we've set the left side, rather the right side a little bit, uh, giving it a different timing from the original copy. Now let us try to give it a different tone. And by that, I'm going to use um, the Space Designer to solve that. I'll go to Reverb, Space Designer. And then I'll go to a preset, go to Wrapped Effects, Speakers. Then I'll go to a Cabinet. Since we're dealing with guitars, I'll use a Cabinet for this um, guitar and I'll use cabinet one and then let's have a listen without even touching anything right there we have we have introduced a different tonality to our copy of the guitar and I feel it's now becoming wider and wider. Now, after playing with the tonality of the left of the copy, let us try to introduce some more harmonics that are not in the previous ones because we want to really make this copy different from the original one. So the harmonics I'll go for um, distortion and I'll go for the overdrive here. Overdrive and I want, since it's a guitar, I want it all the way. The tone shall go all the way up and then let me listen here. There, now we have two guitars sounding like they were played at different times, yet it's the same. We've only tried to play about with a copy so we make it a little bit different from the uh, original one to get that stereo field. Then in the music, they will sound like this. I'll mute the original. <laughs> So 
sounds amazing and now we have a doubled guitar and we have enhanced the stereo field of that one tech that we had but remember always and always try to take or to record two techs of that same uh instrument if you want to double it if you want to have to pan left and right because it makes no sense to make a copy and then just pan left and right if you don't have another take of that just make a copy and treat uh the copy differently so you can get that stereo field thank you for watching tell me what you think about this technique try it out on your own uh, guitars and in our next tutorial we shall be talking about i'll be showing you how to do it on vocals yep and in on vocals it's a bit different slightly different but i'll show you how to do it click uh that subscribe button click the bell so you're notified every time i upload a video and see you in my next tutorial bye bye